Nope. Nope. Not bad. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can use your cell phone as a webcam for online meetings. I create weekly content on videos similar to this one, as well as filmmaking, photography, gear review, and video editing tutorials. If you think that's something to be into, hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here. It's great to see you again. I don't know about you, but I started working from home starting March. And since then it's been zoom, 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 zoom. It's been like that almost every day and sometimes a few times a day. And a few months ago, I made a video on tips on how to sound better on Zoom, which you can check out here. In today's video, I'll be talking about how you can use your cell phone as a webcam wirelessly. I'll be showing you how to get that set up and the method that we're going to use is very simple to use. It's literally one click on your computer and one tap on your phone. It's really that simple. The webcams on our laptops are actually very bad and a pretty good high definition webcam cam is not cheap either and a lot of phones nowadays also shoot 4k so you can get yourself a 4k webcam for your online zoom meetings if you have a dslr or mirrorless camera at home you can use that via a capture device or if you have a canon or a sony camera there are ways that you can use your cameras as a webcam but if you don't have a camera and all you have is a phone with a camera, then you have yourself a webcam. And honestly, cameras on your phone nowadays are really, really good. So why not take advantage of them as a really high definition webcam? This method I'll be talking to you about works for both Windows and Mac, and it also works on Apple and Android phones. In today's example, I'll be connecting the camera on my iPhone 11 onto my Dell XPS 15 Windows laptop. So the first thing you're going to do is download a free app on the App Store. So the app I'm talking about is the Arian webcam for PC and Mac. It's the one right here, Arian webcam for PC. I already have it downloaded on my phone and this is what the app looks like. So once you have this app downloaded on your phone, now we head onto our computers and we download this software onto our computers. So you type arian.com webcam and here you get options to download for windows or for mac whichever device you have i already have downloaded this to my windows computer and as soon as i open the app this is what i get so the interface on the app and also on the software on the computer is very simple all you need to do is make sure that your computer and your phone are both connected to the same wi-fi in this case my computer and my phone are both connected to my home wi-fi so they're going to connect seamlessly as soon as i open both apps on the computer and on the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead now and start this app on my phone. And there you go. We have now whatever you see on the webcam right here on a computer screen is whatever I have here on my phone. And the interface on the phone is actually very simple. You only have two options on this app on the phone. The first one is to change the camera. Uh, if you wanna use the front facing camera or the back facing camera, the selfie camera. I turn it back and this is the selfie camera or the forward camera. And the other option is this flashlight. So if you are in a low lace situation and you want to take advantage on the light on your phone, you can use that to light yourself up a little bit. All you need to do now is get a foam mount clip like this that you can then attach to a tripod or to a tabletop tripod like this gorilla pod right here. I'll be leaving links in the description below if you want to check these out if you don't have any of these lying around at home. And this is my webcam right now. So I'll be showing you what this looks like on both my computer screen and on my phone. And right away, the quality of this is way better than the quality on the webcam on my computer, which I'll be showing you in a bit. One thing that I wish this app could do was zoom in digitally, uh, but you can't do that. There's no way that you can control that, but at least this app is free and you don't have to pay anything for it. So at the time of making of this video, this app is free and let's hope it stays that way. If we head back to the computer, you can select the video format that you want your webcam to be at. And this is based on the maximum resolution on your camera's phone. And in this case, it will be up to 4K, 3840 by 2160. If you have a very good internet connection, I'll suggest that you select 4K if you can, but if your internet is iffy, then you can go for 1080p or 720. So let's turn on Zoom and let's configure that for it to work here. Right now I'm connected to Zoom and my computer has a camera that shoots upward. 
and that is just a very unpleasant angle, especially if you have to look professional for your work meetings. I really love this XPS 15, but I have no idea why they put the camera there. It's just really, really unpleasant. So this is the webcam that I have on my computer. This is a terrible angle. No matter how I put the computer, it's just gonna be terrible. If I lift up my computer this way, and if I face it this way, people are gonna see my keyboard. And if I'm typing and talking to people, they're going to see my fingers typing. So it's just a terrible angle. So the app on the phone is already communicating with the app on the computer. And now all I need to do is just tell Zoom to use my phone as the webcam. So we go into video and select Arian or Arian, still don't know how to pronounce this, the Arian webcam. And right away, it switches to this webcam that I have right here on my phone right there. And if you wanna make things even better, you can use the back camera on your phone so you get even better quality because usually the back facing camera is better than the front facing camera. If you put your phone right above your laptop, then it's going to look like it's a webcam on your computer. So this is how you can wirelessly connect your phone and use it as a webcam for your online Zoom meetings. So this is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below, how many meetings a week do you have over Zoom? If you learned something new out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and share this video with all your coworkers and colleagues, especially those who have a very bad camera angle on their online Zoom meetings. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button to be in the know of future content that I'll be creating. Your support will be greatly appreciated. And that is all for today, guys. Until next time.